coming up next, getting to another matter that we'll be looking at quite closely as well here on Ghana Tonight, and it is the issue of the NDC here on your election command center, raising questions and allegations of a plot to rig the elections. There was a press conference earlier today. The National Communications Officer of the NDC, Sami Jemfi, at a news conference earlier today said the party's intelligence had uncovered actionable plans to cause chaos during the general elections. This was Sami Jemfi earlier today. Take a look. Position. Brigadier General Obogu has been mandated by President Agufuado to take charge of a well-crafted scheme that has been designed by the MPP to rig the upcoming elections, particularly in the Ashanti region. Through ballot staffing, swapping of ballot boxes, swapping of pink sheets, and other clandestine activities, starting with a special voting exercise scheduled for December 2nd of this year. Given his history, we in the NDC call for his immediate removal from his position as General Officer Commanding of the Central Command. And miscreants like that should not be allowed anywhere near the security architecture for the impending 2024 general elections. The NDC wishes to serve notice, and notice is hereby served, to Brigadier General Michael Opoku and his ilk in the New Patriotic Party, that we have them under our radar. Utum Force to the second. We will officially draw his attention to these developments because the head the headquarters of the operation of this guy is Kumase. And I know that the Utum Four cherishes the peace that the people of Kumase and Ashanti region enjoy. And he will want to take an interest into this matter and call this guy to order. But not just him, our external developmental partners will also be notified. And so the observers will be notified. The foreign missions will be notified. That is not to say that we will stop at that. No, we are going into the election with all the necessary precautions. Like Azuma Nelson, we are going with our referee in our pockets. And what we will do to make sure that they don't succeed is not a matter for public consumption. Well, that's Sami Jeffy there. And, and in fact, there's been some reactions to this. But let's let's get on to Zoom now. Sheikh Arimi Al Shaibu. Uh, is the spokesperson for the National Chief Imam, but also a member of the National Peace Council. He's joining us on, on Zoom. Sheikh, appreciate your time. Assalamu alaikum to you. Thank you for joining us here on Ghana tonight. First off, I mean, hearing this and all of these concerns and allegations of some machinations for possible rigging and then the increasing concerns about the credibility and transparency of the election ahead of us, as the Peace Council, what, what, what's your thinking in intervening to at least reinforce some level of trust and confidence in the process. Thank you very much, because I don't have the permission of my chairman to speak. Um, but, um, I, I think where we have reached, we've seen the process file um, attempting to address and to improve the process to guarantee integrity and credibility of, of the process. Uh, my appeal to all stakeholders, especially the political parties, is to lend their support to the, to the Electoral Commission and to have confidence that where we have reached uh, just two weeks ahead of the elections and trust that the EC will do its best. And it has given all the assurances uh, so that uh, uh, let's all uh, give our support and ensure that uh, um, we have a credible system that will give us a results that we can all accept. Uh, we want to work a, uh, so much so that we will reduce the tension. We want to ad uh, advise that we avoid making statements that will prepare the minds of um, grassroots for any um, action that will undermine the peace uh, of, of the country. Um, speaking on behalf of the chief, I'm, I'm confident that uh, we all have spoken about, about peace. Chief Mam himself has spoken about, about peace. Uh, he has addressed the, the EC to um, make sure that 
we have put in place the process that will ensure that um, uh, nobody will be treated with injustice. The process will be as fair as possible and as transparent as possible. And we want to hope that uh, the EC itself has been uh, listening to what the leaders of the country have been saying. Uh, and given the assurances that given, we want to uh, have a hope uh, that things, things will be fine. Uh, so our advice to all political parties is to avoid uh, comments and discourse uh, that will undermine uh, the, the trust that we all have uh, in the EC. I, I see, and this is a word to the political parties. And, uh, but, but how about also the various actors within the, the chain as well? I'm talking about the institutions and the security agencies as well. From where you sit, what should their posturing and then also the responses be to some of these issues so as to ensure that there's some improved level of trust and confidence going into this election? In fact, we have already spoken on behalf of the chief imam calling on the police to be as professional as possible. The electoral uh, security apparatus that has been put in place, uh, we have been addressing them uh, to maintain the highest standard of professionalism um, and make sure that the police are at the center. Unless it becomes necessary, the military uh, will have to stay off um, the scene so that we can guarantee uh, the trust that we all um, require to ensure that there's, there's a certain integrity to the, the, the process. In fact, with the EC, we call on the EC also to, uh, to maintain the highest standard of integrity, uh, to ensure that the election processes are so credible, so transparent, to guarantee the peace that we, we all want. Uh, even though assurances have, have been given uh, earlier on, but that we, between now, and uh, 7th of December, we think more can be done to enhance. Um, like, for example, uh, we have noticed that the, the serial numbering of the ballot boxes that were sent to uh, Ahafo and Volta region have all been called back and have been destroyed. These are all steps to ensure that the process will be as credible as possible. Once the EC is doing this, we call on them to really go ahead and enhance the system, make it as transparent as possible, and uh, make sure that also the playing ground is as fair and level, uh, not to give undue advantage to any political political party, uh, regardless of who is whoever is uh, the flag bearer or whoever is the uh, parliamentary can candidate. The playing ground must be as fair as level as, as possible. And I am sure that if the EC is able to do all these, we, we shall have a very peaceful election. Ghana, Ghana is one country that we have. And no one has an intention to destroy the peace. Uh, we want to call on all and, and sundry uh, to um, reject the mindset of violence. Uh, let's all discourage violence and contribute to the peace of the process uh, together. And I'm sure that uh, by the grace of God, just like in the past, God has been on our side that we have been able to do our elections in peace. This one too shall pass. God will be on our side. We shall have a very peaceful and credible um, election. Well, Sheikh, appreciate your time. Thank you very much for joining us. Sheikh Amir Shabo speaks for the National Chief Member, also a member of the National Peace Council.